Yes, I'm, I'm trying to find out what's happening with the nativity I ordered. Well, only part of it arrived and fine, I'm on hold, but I've been on hold for 20 minutes already. <coughs> Thanks for helping me unload the truck, guys. No problem. Yes, sir. Put it right here. Well, she's going to be happy there's more than one box this time. I'm surprised she's not out there waiting for us. Should I go get her for you? Well... <laughs> <laughs> No, that's okay. You don't have to go there. Hi there. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. I see you have more than one box. That's great. I'll help you open these, you guys. same place where Jesus is going to be. But he's not here yet. It's like they're waiting. Just like all of us. Waiting for the Savior. This is the season of Advent, isn't it? Well, yeah. So what, so what perfect time to have your nativity characters like this? As a reminder for all of us to prepare them, themselves for the coming of the Lord. And who knows? Maybe. Just maybe. The baby you ordered will come on time. Keep your hope up. Try to have some peace and trust that no matter what happens, it's all going to be okay. I hear what you're saying. So, where is it? Where's what? The envelope you sneak to us every time you come. Don't ask me. Ask him. Well, I gotta go check in with the boss. He's got me overtime on this time of year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, he gave you the envelope? What the? That guy's crazy. So let's just say this time. It says, One thing we've learned on our Advent journey is that it is better not to go alone. We live in a do-it-yourself culture that celebrates the individuality. The faith is not something that we can do on our own. We need companions on the journey. We need others to support us and strengthen us and encourage us. We put our journey in the hands of many people around us, and although it is a risk, we are better for it. We learn to trust that someone has our back as we make this journey of faith. Matthew reminds us that when God chose to come to earth the first time, God chose to trust in people to help make it happen. God trusted in Mary, and God trusted in Joseph. In turn, we trust in God to be faithful to the promise and to sustain us through many others as we continue our journey of faith. We light the candles of peace, hope, joy, and trust as our circle is complete. 